Hi everybody, it's Miss Miller. I've missed you so much. <laughs> well, it's possible that we might not be coming back to school this year, but I don't know if that's really happening or not. And I know I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of questions about what's going on and how we're gonna do things, but I don't have any answers right now, I'm sorry. I wish I had some and I don't. I do have, you know, ideas of what um, you can be doing at home in the meantime until we get more information. And I'll share all of that with you. I wrote down a bunch of stuff that I don't wanna kinda of tell you guys because I don't want you to think that I've forgotten about you or that any of your teachers have forgotten about you. And also don't want you to think that the e the year has been just a waste and that we're not preparing for anything else because we have plenty of awesome stuff for next school year too and even the end of this school year too. So first I just want to say hi and I miss you guys and my puppy dog says hi. She's hanging out right here. She says hi. She's taking a nap and Anderson says hi. So I was going to let y'all guess what the baby's name was going to be. Uh, Micah, your other band brother is asleep inside. And then this one growing says hi. But we're calling him Anderson. So if you were trying to guess what the baby's name was going to be, that's what it was. Oh, if you're ever, you know, missing band class or just missing school or want to talk to anybody, you can always email me. You can always email your other teachers. Um, we're also going to do something fun. We're going to do a Zoom meeting, which I'm sure you've had the opportunity to do that with some of your other teachers. But uh, the one that we're going to do is just for us to say hi and catch up with each other. It's not to do any lessons or anything like that. I miss all those classes. And I know for some of you, it's not a big deal. But to see you guys five days a week, all those weeks, and then to all of a sudden not see you anymore is really it makes me sad and I miss you and I want you to know that now I don't know what's gonna happen for the rest of the school year I don't know what's going on nothing's really set in stone so we'll kind of figure it out as we go but on my little notes I have a few things I want to tell you about what's going on so the things that were supposed to happen in March that we didn't get to do obviously it was Molly on magic and then festivals, the other thing that got canceled. It is not postponed anymore. It was originally postponed. We were gonna try to get another date, but with everything going on, it's now canceled. Um, the other thing that we were gonna do was prepare for our spring concert. I've been thinking that maybe we'd come back for, to school and I still, I don't really know what's going on. So uh, I've set up everything on Moodle as if we were still coming back and we were gonna have our spring concert. Now I'm thinking that's not going to happen. So um, I'm going to kind of change up what I have on Moodle and put more things, uh, more fun things for us to do and stuff to help you prepare for next year. So seventh grade, I'm probably going to put some things on Moodle to get you ready for football for next year. And then my eighth grade, I'm going to put some things on Moodle to get you ready for high school. The resources that I put on Moodle uh, about like, Eight of you kind of used them and about 10 of you actually checked them out. So I want to show you some of them real quick. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys have been going on a Moodle because you've had a lot of time to do a lot of nothing. So hopefully you checked out Moodle. If you haven't checked out Moodle, you maybe you don't have internet right now or you can't get to a computer. I understand. So I put an announcement on there. I just updated it yesterday. And then on the announcement, under the announcement, it has three options of things you can do at home and it's not work. I, I told you before we left, I've said this plenty of times, I hate it when teachers give busy work. It's a waste of time. You don't want you to be able to do something that you actually want to do or that will help you grow in some sort of way. So um, the first thing that I put on there is called fun time number one. <laughs> uh let's see oh it talks about 
how we're going to start doing these YouTube videos more. So I'm going to post videos and I'm going to put a forum up so we can kind of chat about different things. The forum has to stay academic. So um, the time for us to really like say hi to each other and have fun would be a Zoom meeting. Okay. But it, when I put a forum up on Moodle, that's when we're supposed to be putting academic stuff like things we're learning or things we're talking about. Okay. The second thing that I put on there, fun time number two, is something called smart music, which the school board has actually paid for. So we can keep it for next year, which I love it. I think it's really cool. Smart music um, is a way for you to listen to everything we're working on. They have actual, re like, legit band recordings of people playing our music. You can play with it with the recordings or you can work on it on your own and then you can actually record yourself with the recording and it will grade you it will like tell you things you need to work on or what things you missed which is pretty cool if you go on to moodle it will tell you how to access smart music it doesn't cost you any money or anything like that you do have to have an email account to back up to in case you like forget your password or your login but you can go on to it and then Right here, it will let you click like a class, your class, and I just put Molly on junior high band. That's all I did, and you can. It has assignments. Those assignments are not graded. I just put them there so that you can like practice with particular music. And the music that I have right there is festival music. I'm probably gonna take that off and put something for next year or fun stuff up there. Okay, and then um, if you want to check out other things, your Soe book is in here. Okay, so you can actually play with it. And it will grade you and it will do all that stuff. Um, and then there's other popular music right here too if you want to play with that. So you don't have to just do my assignments. You can actually explore. And this is all free to you. All you have to do is just log in. The way to log in is to go onto my Moodle page. And on Moodle, it has an access key. And when you put in the access key, then you're admitted to it. Okay? I did want to shout out a few people. I guess I can't. Okay, I'm not allowed to say who, so I'll put it on the Moodle page. But there are four of you who already signed up for Smart Music because I put it on here a long time ago. And let's see, one of you is in my second hour class. You're awesome. One of you is in my third hour class. You're awesome because you actually signed up and then you did the assignments just for fun. And you got A's on all of them because you are really awesome. Okay. Someone in my fifth hour, they happen to be brothers, the person in second hour and fifth hour, they both signed up. You're awesome. And then another person in fifth hour who plays flute, you signed up too. Good job. Really fun. It's really awesome. It's a fun way for you to practice, especially if you're bored. Like if y'all have nothing to do and you want something fun to do, this is a fun way to play. Okay. Okay. The third fun time option. I don't know if y'all will think this is fun. Um, there's a website called the Sight Reading Factory, okay? If you go to sightreadingfactory.com, you can, they will create like random sight reading and you can do it and then test yourself and then you fill out a survey to see how you did. I put a funny meme there because I thought a lot of you would not do this <laughs> and a lot of you had not. Only two of you have done it because I know you don't like sight reading and that's okay. All right. So that's the stuff that I have online for you. Okay. Really check out smart music. I'm thinking regardless of what happens with this virus and stuff, we're going to keep smart music. So that way we can do tests in class and you can like do it on the computer in a practice room, not in front of everybody. Or you can do your test at home not in front of everybody. So my people, I know one clarinetist in particular who would love to do this instead of having to play in front of everybody, I think that's what we're gonna start doing next year to make things a little easier, okay? Let's see, what else? Oh, things to look forward to. So a lot of you are probably like, well, if school does close, what's the point of practicing, blah, blah, blah. Here's some things to look forward to, okay? First, you're all gonna get something in the mail from me, all right? My drum majors, my section leaders, you're supposed to be getting an award because I would have given that to you at the spring concert. Um, unfortunately, with stuff going on, I'm not allowed to purchase anything. So the actual like 
uh, pins that you're supposed to get as a section leader and the I have little medallions for some people you are not gonna get those yet they'll have to wait I'll, I'm not sure when they're they're gonna let me order them but until then the certificate part you'll be getting that in the mail um, seventh grade you will also get an opportunity to get those in the mail as well because I will be giving out certain awards for most outstanding most improved seventh grade excellence and band award eighth grade excellence and band awards so you will be getting some awards too because i would have given those at the spring concert the other thing that you need to be looking forward to if you're a seventh grader you need to be looking forward to um not just preparation for the next year but uh drum major and section leader auditions because i'm going to still try to hold those somehow we either we'll try to video each other or we'll do a zoom meeting where we get to conduct for each other or you can email me your answers to a couple of section leader questions. But in the next like two weeks, the information for that's gonna be coming up soon because I still think it'd be really awesome to have a drum major and some section leaders set up for the next year. Now seventh grade, something that's really different for you is that I'm not gonna be there the first like month and a half to two months of school because I will have had Anderson, okay? so. I wanna make sure we figure out who drum major and section leader is so you can kind of start leading the beginning of the year and really help me out and get our band going, okay? Another thing to look forward to is us saying hi to each other, all right? We're gonna have a Zoom meeting. If you haven't used Zoom before, it's just a way to get online and pretty much like FaceTime each other, but you can do it with a bunch of people. So seventh grade, you get to talk to me at one o'clock. You get to say hi, chit chat, I can answer questions. We get to have fun for like 30 to 45 minutes. And then at two o'clock, eighth grade, we get to do the same thing, okay? And then next Tuesday, the 21st, April 21st, at four o'clock, we get to have a full band after school rehearsal Zoom meeting, okay? You don't have to play your instrument. It's just for all of us to get together and say hi as if we were having full band after school rehearsal, okay? I also thought it would be cool to have our spring concert even though we're not having our spring concert. But I need to find a way to do this. It's possible to record people on YouTube and then I can cut it and edit it and create this really awesome video of everybody playing and it'd be our final concert. And it wouldn't be us like playing a piece together from festival. It would be stuff you guys have learned on your own or something you've been working on that you think is really cool and you can submit it and then I'll create one big video and we'll just call it the 2020 COVID-19 spring concert, something fun like that. And we can keep it in our archive and I'll make a poster for it and all that, just like I do for all of our other spring concerts. And then um, as a keepsake, I think it'd be cool to send you guys the program and a, and a little poster for you to keep, okay? So if you're down for that, if you wanna do something like that, I wanna know. So you gotta email me or leave me a comment or something. Because if you don't wanna do it, then I don't wanna to try to go through the hassle of trying to get video from everybody, okay? So those are things to look forward to. Check out Smart Music. Check out Moodle every week. I update it every week. Practice, play, have fun, stay safe, be healthy, and come chat with me on the Zoom meetings coming up, okay? I miss you. Love you. Say hi, Jada. Ooh. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>